300,000 people have descended into this tiny Scottish town of St Andrews. But why? Some people might argue that we're here for this golf. But I argue people are here for the amazing, awesome sea life, right? That's why everyone's wearing caps. They've seen my channel. This is a video for everybody that has come to St Andrews. It's doing lovely walks along this wonderful beach and are wondering, what is that? For today's video, we're going to be walking you through what marine life can you find on St Andrews' beaches. It's going to be all the creatures that you can find right on the shoreline, right just looking at the rocks without going off and exploring too much into rock pooling. There are three main beaches in St Andrews that you can find awesome marine life on. There is this beach, which is the beach that is connected to the pier, lovely sandiness. It's the furthest away from the Gulf. That is going to be the quietest place for you to come and actually look at the sea, I imagine. And here we have some awesome rock pools right at the furthest corner, right back here for you to check out. Now on this beach you have lots of awesome rocks and on this rocks you will find seaweeds. Seaweeds are just like plants in that they get energy from the sun and grow but there are lots of different amazing types and they can get super colourful even in the UK. This is a type of bladder rack. You can tell that because it has these bladders on. So when the, su the sea is in, it floats above in the water and it likes to float above in the water to give it lots of space, get it closer to the sunlight that it's getting its energy from. This is another type. It's called um, gut weed because it looks like long straggly guts, but it's bright green and really quite awesome. Now, if you're looking at the rocks, you might see these things. They look a lot like rocks, but actually they are a type of snail. In here will be a snail living um, in that. They're really hard to get off. You shouldn't really get them off because um, that's how they're surviving on there. But they look a lot like rocks, which is, you know, unsurprising. The tooth of a limpet is actually made of the strongest material in the entire world. It is 15 times stronger than steel and even stronger than spider silk. So if you're at the beach and you see a limpet, just give it a little nod of your cap because wow, what a feat. Now at this time of year, you might find a lot of these things. These are jellyfish, they have washed up. Because of the way that jellyfish work, they just float along with the current. Once they're washed up, there's really not too much hope for them. Not a lot in the UK, not a lot of jellyfish species can sting you, but I still don't recommend touching them because some of them can. Um, so just admire from afar the lovely jelly beings uh, that were. If you've watched my channel before, you'll know these are my absolute favourite. The barnacles. See now every single one of these little things here is a barnacle and each one is a little living organism inside. Barnacles are actually related to crabs. They don't look like it at all, but they're a crustacean just like a crab. And actually they look very similar and they're little tiny babies that actually float through the water, except for crabs land and grow into a crab and get to run along. But a poor barnacle settles and it will never move from that spot again. But I really love them. They're really cool and they are absolutely everywhere on beaches in the UK and in St Andrews. Now you also might be walking along and thinking, what are all these little tubes on the sand? They look a bit like miniature, miniature, tiny little uh, dog droppings. Let's go with that. But actually they are the tubes and slightly weirdly actually kind of the droppings of a, uh, a worm. Under this, and if I had a, a shovel and a bucket, I could show you, if you dig down, there'll be a tube, and in that will be something called a lugworm. Now, a lugworm lives in this tube, and it kind of eats sand, and eats all the lovely nutrients and stuff that's in the sand and in the water, and out the back of it, it will kind of push the sand out as it goes through this tube and eats it, and the stuff that it's pushing out the back gets pushed up to the sand at the top, creating these lovely little piles. <laughs> But I just love them because they're showing that there's life even in the sand here. The beaches are absolutely full of wonderful marine organisms. Now when you're walking along, you might actually spot that there are snails, little tiny snails living in rock pools or living on the rocks. This isn't a mistake. 
they are sea snails. These snails love to live in water. In fact, they are, <laughs> they are probably having a worse time if they are out of there than if they were in there. Sea snails are awesome. There's loads of different types, but if you have a black shell, uh, a lot of the ones that have black shells here are called periwinkles, um, which are just such a sweet and really cute name. Um, and if you pick them up, you can actually have a look and just see that there's a snail in there. But make sure if you're going along and having a look and picking up anything, that you put it down nice and gently and always treat animals with lots of care. Now, one more seaweed that you might see that's pretty cool right at the top of the shore is this stuff here. This is egg rack. It looks like that because it's got these bladders on it that look like eggs. We're marine biologists, we're not that inventive sometimes. I quite like it when they just give a name that makes sense. Back there is all the places you can go rock pooling. It's a really good spot here in St Andrews. I have done an absolute ton of videos rock pooling here. So if you want to see the fantastic creatures you can see when you put your wellies on, then all you have to do is click and, ho click and go and check out this link. But if you want to do that, put some wellies on, get some good shoes because it's really slippery but full of tons of marine life. This has been East Sands, trying to work out which it is. There's East Sands, West Sands and Castle Beach. Let's go to Castle Beach and show you what you can see there. We are interrupting today's scheduled programming for a health and safety announcement. In the UK, we have tides, which means that twice a day the sea goes out and it comes back in. You could easily Google the tide times by Googling tide times at St Andrews. When it is low tide, it means the sea will be out and you can explore the beach. And when it is high tide, it means the sea will be in and you cannot explore the beach unless you want to stick to the top where it's nice and sandy. That's all good. You can be at the beach at both times, but what you don't want to be is out close to the sea after low tide and when the tide is coming back in. The next beach that you can find a load of awesome sea life at is Castle Beach. There's the castle and it's just this path right down here. You often find this seaweed washed up as well, which has a really cool name. It's known as sea lettuce because, well, it looks like lettuce and it, it lives in the sea. So this seaweed might look different, the fact that it's white. But actually, it's the same as this green stuff here. It's a type of green seaweed, but it bleaches itself white during summer to try and stop it getting sunburned. So basically, this is it's making its own sun cream. It's really cool. You can also find lots of crabs if you've got a keen eye. This was just a little, little one that I found crawling in the seaweed. But you can also find bigger crabs. This is one from footage from uh, another rock pooling trip. But crabs are really, really awesome. But you have to know how to hold them properly so you don't get pinched. If you want to know how to do that, then you can watch my video tutorial here. At Castle Beach, I mainly found pretty much the same stuff as you'll find at East Sands as well. So I headed over to the very, very beautiful West Sands. Now West Sands is probably always going to be one of the windiest beaches. It's mainly sandy, there are a few rocks and you'll probably find the same stuff that we found before. But there's also these enormously amazing sand dunes for you to check out on this beach. incredible and just really cool and also they just look gorgeous definitely worth a nice walk along this beach and just you know taking a second to admire the fact that this grass is doing well a lot for the environment a lot for the ecosystem and that's why they've built these boardwalks so make sure that you don't stand on the sand dunes walk on the boardwalks to make sure that you're not treading on it and uh, treading on it can help destroy it they're quite delicate things 
They're really cool. Seagulls are part and parcel of the St Andrews experience. There are loads here. But instead of getting annoyed that they try and steal your fish and chips, and yes, I have had that happen to me on multiple occasions, we really need to be taking full, you know, love for these creatures. There are actually up to seven species of gulls in the UK that are red or amber listed, which means that they're shown as threatened. So it's just really nice to see these birds being out, being near the beach, being where they should be. Now a bird you might not have expected to see so much down the beach but is actually really common on West Sands are these crows. Now crows are corvids and they are super smart. Imagine the top geniuses of birds and there's actually a really cool behaviour that you can kind of keep an eye out for. You remember when I told you earlier about the tiny periwinkles? Well actually these birds go along and try and eat these sea snails. But what they also do is they go and fly up in the air and drop them down either on the rocks or on the concrete and try and smash the shells open before picking them out. It's really bizarre if you're just sitting there and all of a sudden you hear these like little clacks or like hits and you wonder what it is. It's usually one of these trying to get its lunch and I think it's just a really quite cool addition to this particular beach. Now I had to swap to doing voiceovers because it is just too windy for the microphone to be outside. So with that I want to say a massive thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and try and support my channel. We, I do lots and lots of amazing rock pooling and tell everyone about the awesome sea creatures. And if you have any questions, chuck them below. I hope everyone has a fantastic day, week and year. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.